In the Ultra experience, you can create and edit an Ultra locale directly in Blackboard Learn. Let's take a look. A custom Ultra locale is an add-on to a system language pack and provides you with the means for updating the text in the user interface. For Blackboard Learn environments in the Ultra experience, using both course views, you'll use a hybrid approach to editing text in the user interface. Any strings that appear within the original course view can be found and edited in the language pack. Any strings in the Ultra course view, as well as outside of the courses, are considered to be part of the Ultra experience and can be found in the custom Ultra locale. When creating an Ultra locale, you will first copy an existing base language pack. To do so, on the Administrator panel, select Language Packs. Next, find the language pack you want to use as your basis and select Copy in its menu. Name the language pack, specify a code, and then select Submit. Next, find your locale copy in the list and then select Create in the Ultra Locale column. In the Ultra Language Pack section, select Create Custom Ultra Locale, select a base locale to use as your starting point, and then select Continue. On the Customization panel, you can view and edit strings that appear in the Ultra user interface. Keys are code components and are named based on the path where they appear in the code, and the value is the text that appears in the user interface. The value on the left is the original value in the locale. You can change the value on the right. You may see brackets and other characters and strings that appear out of place or don't appear in the user interface. These characters are known as variables and are elements of the Ultra code that change based on conditions or events. To prevent unexpected changes in behavior, we recommend you don't edit variables and strings. Text around variables can be edited safely. Additionally, Blackboard Learn uses specialized syntax for handling plural values. In these strings, you should only edit the sections inside of the brackets that have plural identifiers in front of them. And finally, there are some values in the code for localization purposes. We suggest you don't edit these variables. The list of available strings is thousands of entries long. To help narrow your view, type a word or phrase into the search box to find all matching strings. To edit a string, select the value link on the right of the table, type your text, and then select Save. When you're finished with your updates, select Publish.